Alrighty folks, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another Beginner's Blender Intermediate Tutorial. And before I do anything else, I'm just going to put my screencast keys on so you can see what's going on there. There we go, perfect. Without any further ado, let's load up where we've got to. Yeah, no, we don't need to do that. Let's uh, open, don't save, do, 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 probably that one I think. Right, here we go then. Now I seem to remember on the last video I showed you how to split all these tiles out to separate them out. Now in fact that was the wrong thing to do really because we actually need this mesh to be one piece because we're now going to add a material to the to the whole set of tiles but we're going to make it back into one mesh so to do that I'm just going to select I'm going to use my B key to box select select everything unselect the light don't want that selected and I'm gonna highlight this kind of tile right in the corner there just so that we can then join all the objects uh, together and so we will do it's probably in here somewhere if we can find it join so that's now joined our mesh. Let's just hide that light and hide the camera. We don't really want to see those. And way my screencast keys seem to have disappeared, so we'll put those back on. That was probably when I loaded the file. Right, so let us add in, once we've selected our mesh, let us add in. A material. I'm going to call it new and I'm just going to give it a name of roof tile material if I can type it in. There we go and let's just go into solid mode. I've also noticed something else. Um, you'll probably notice that our Z direction is pointing downwards, which basically means my mesh is upside down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it uh, on the x-axis. So I'm just going to press R for rotate, then press X for on the x-axis axis and then do 180, 180, enter and we can use our widget tool just to move it back roughly into position. Okay, so let us check a few things. We'll make sure we're in cycles, that's good. We want, we actually do want to be in cycles and if I just have a look at our just need to make sure that we've got all our ducks in a row here principled BSDF that's good volume displacement settings blah 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 okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into our shading option so here we've got our texture it's not the texture it's a material and what we need to do is we actually need to change this shader change this material and I'm going to add in a um, a couple of nodes and the best way to do that is just go to add and do a search and I'm going to add in an object 
an object info node. Very handy node. We can use its random function and I'll show you that once we split these tiles back out into separate tiles. Then we're going to add in another node and this time we're going to go for a mix RGB node. Perfect. We might add in a texture node as well actually. So we could search for texture. Uh, image texture, that's fine. We'll just stick that there for now and we'll use that maybe later. So what we want to do is we want to hook up our random into the factor of the mix RGB and then I'm going to use the color selector to select some kind of kind of brick tile type colors maybe we'll have one a bit darker than the other just to give it a bit of variation maybe one a little bit lighter and we're just going to smack that straight into the colour and you can see that that's, that's done that, which is great. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to our modelling window and I'll go to the preview. Now we want to select all our mesh and we want to do what we did before we want to go to mesh and we want to say we want to separate it by loose parts and you can see that that has if I go back into object mode you can see that that's nicely given us a variation of color on our tiles so that's working quite well So that's kind of really it as far as adding the material. We certainly the, the diffuse material, the colour of the tiles. There's a couple of other things we can do uh, to make our texture a bit more interesting. I'm just going to do a horizontal split here and I'm just going to set that back to the shader editor. Now that we've carefully just move that out of the way, make that a bit smaller so you can see what I'm doing. Now that we've carefully set up our random selector for the, the tile color and set the color, we can make use of this so we can copy that. So I'm just going to do a box select around those two nodes and do Shift D which copies them. We don't want that one, that's just a texture, we can delete that. And I'm just going to change these colours. I'm going to go back to RGB. I can use a colour picker here. And I'm going to make one, one a kind of light grey, one a dark grey. And what we're going to use that for is we can use it for the specular component of our mesh and that will allow us to have don't know if you can particularly see it um, maybe because the lighting isn't great on there but it should allow us to see let's try gosh that's dark Let's uh, let's brighten that up a bit by using the world setting. So, colour's very dark. So let's tweak that up a bit. So we're using cycles now. So maybe if we brighten some of this up to make it more shiny and we darken some of this down to be less shiny we should get a variation of shininess on the on the tiles now and if I scroll down here maybe if we 
if we enable our light we might be able to see that a bit better yeah I think we're seeing some shine on some of those tiles yeah you can see it there look so some tiles are shiny some tiles aren't shiny perfect okay so I'm do I need to do anything else at this stage? Probably not. Um, so I'm going to keep this video a bit short, so I'm going to save this. I'm going to say external data automatically back into the blend file. I'm going to say file save as and we'll call this mesh tile 02. 02. If I put my cursor over the box, it'll work. That always gets me. I always forget to do that. So, there we go. So we can save that. Perfect. Well, thank you for joining me today. I hope you found that interesting. I hope that use of nodes wasn't too confusing for you. So um, join, join in next time. Look for more of the videos. Take care everybody, stay well, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.